one of my absolute favorite things about the Pacific Northwest is just how green and vibrant and whimsical everything is. If you take a look around me, it truly just feels like there could be friggin' dinosaurs or something <laughs> roaming these parts because that's how different it feels and it's so unique. It's incredible. Trying out these new instant coffee packets that I just picked up. They're supposed to be a little more specialty than the classic Folgers instant coffee. That's hot. It's way too hot right now. <laughs> it's actually pretty late in the day to be having a cup of coffee at all. I got quite the late start today because this past week there's been a really big change in my life and it's just been taking up all of my time. And that's actually why I didn't post a video last week because I've just been so preoccupied with this big change. Now I will be making an announcement very soon about what this change is but until then feel free to leave a comment down below taking a guess if you have any idea what this big dramatic change that i'm talking about could be i will give you a hint my hands have been very full with this new situation so i'm just going to leave it at that and uh, you guys will know more very soon so anyways, I had a small window of time open up and I jumped on the opportunity to go on a short little camping trip. It was very last minute, extremely last minute trip. So speaking of a last minute trip, fortunately, thanks to the lightning fast charging capabilities of my Anchor Solix C1000 portable power station, I was able to, at the last second, plug that thing in, get it charged up in less than an hour and be ready and have plenty of battery power for this trip. Anchor also happens to be the sponsor of today's video. So let's just go ahead and take a couple minutes to talk about the Anchor Solix C1000 portable power station. The Anchor Solix C1000 is a lithium iron phosphate portable power station with a 1,056 watt hour capacity. It also has an output of 1,800 watts with surge protection up to 2,400 watts. So this thing has more than enough power to run 99% of appliances out there. For my purposes, when I'm out here camping, when I wanna run the television, run my dehumidifier in the camper, charge camera batteries, charge my laptop, this is an all-in-one package to be able to do all of that at once thanks to its large capacity. Now, as I previously mentioned a little bit earlier, where the C1000 really shines is its hyper fast charging capabilities. Thanks to the hyper flash technology, this thing goes from zero to 100% in just 58 minutes when fast charging mode is turned on in the app. Less than an hour to fully charge this is highly impressive. Right now you could buy the Anchor Solix C1000 for just $649. So if you're interested in learning more or perhaps buying one of your own, go ahead and click on the link in the description box down below. All right, I actually have to start packing up and heading out now so I could get back to the truck and uh, have enough daylight to go find a spot. Like I said, it's, it's quite a late start that I got today, unfortunately, but better late than never, right? So 
I'm actually not in the Mount Hood National Forest today. I'm in the Willamette National Forest, which is a bit further south than Mount Hood. Kind of a questionable decision, seeing as I had a later start in the day. But that's okay, I wanted to switch it up. I haven't been down to this area for a while. There she is. This is certainly the most epic camp spot that I've had in a while now. 360 degree views all the way around. Truly, truly epic. I believe if I'm not mistaken, all along there is actually lava field. So all of the black rock is like igneous lava rock, which is really neat. It's a very unique spot to camp. And the fact that I have this spot all to myself just makes it that much better. Something tells me though that middle or on the weekend or maybe in the summer this area is probably crawling with other people but right now middle of the week got it all to myself i've definitely been planning on having a campfire tonight but as you can tell from the footage and you could probably hear it has been raining on and off all day. It does seem like it's kind of just a light sprinkle right now. So I'm gonna to wait to see if it gets any worse because if it gets worse, then I don't really wanna have a campfire. But if it gets better, then you best believe I will be lighting up a fire. Um, in the meantime, I guess, in the meantime, I guess I'll crack a brewski or something. Yes, I'm definitely a proponent of the work smarter, not harder mantra. Ah, wait. Now, I can enjoy. Man, does anybody else 
Notice just how quickly store-bought firewood burns. Like I've already burnt so much of this bundle that I bought at the store. This is just another, another instance of why it's best to just harvest your own firewood. Well, y'all, it's officially started raining again and a combination of the rain in the crummy Safeway grocery store firewood has led to the fire going out much earlier than I would have liked. As you can see, it's not that dark out. It's not really light, but no matter how much I try to stoke the fire, it just seems like it's destined for failure. And the rain seems like it's just getting harder, so I guess we'll just go inside. It really started coming down pretty hard again out of nowhere. I thought it was just like a, a passing cloud for a moment, but as you could hear, it's coming down really good. So I got pretty soaked in that span of like five minutes. I guess it was probably a good thing that the fire went out anyways, cause now I get a chance to eat. All right. So I had plans on cooking something. I had a recipe all picked out and ready to go. And then I was at the grocery store and I saw this. Seasoned chicken with Korean barbecue style sauce. And it's kind of just one of those, throw it all together, put it in the oven, call it a day. And uh, I decided that that sounded a lot easier than the recipe that I was planning. It, it, it piqued my interest, you know, it sounds good. So we're gonna give it a shot and see what happens. I'm also gonna be making some basmati rice with it as well. So I guess on the back here, it says that you could either grill it, cook it on the stove top or oven broil, which, I'm choosing to oven broil it just for the sake of ease. It's also nice because when I run the, the oven in here, it gets, it gets pretty toasty. After that whole condensation mold water damage episode the other week, you best believe that I'm gonna be running my dehumidifier in here from now on whenever, whenever I'm cooking. Really, whenever I'm in here, I should be running it, especially when it's, uh, when it's cold weather. Also gonna be running the fan as well. This fan has two modes. You could either suck air out or pull air in. And while I'm cooking like this, I'm gonna be sucking the air out. That way any moisture that's in here can just get sucked up and out of here. Oh, this stuff kind of smells funky. Oh, oh no. This chicken smells, uh, this chicken smells questionable. When did this expire? This literally doesn't even have like a best buy date on it. How is that possible? Doesn't everything need to have a best buy date on it? That smells like freaking Easter eggs, dude. That is gross. Yeah, no way. No way I'm eating that. Not a chance, bruh. Not a freaking chance. Oh God. Well, the chicken smells literally like Easter eggs. It, it's pretty funky. And the, if there's one thing that I have learned in my years is never risk it when it comes to funky smelling raw meat. It's just not worth it. Um, this is just this is just what I get for skipping out on the recipe that I had planned and opting for the easier option. Fortunately, I do have something else I could eat. Now, the sad thing is I got that gross rancid chicken juice all over my cast iron skillet, and I would never usually wash my cast iron with soap, but I really have no choice here. I don't want that gross stuff, that gross rancid chicken juice 
all over my cast iron. So I'm gonna get give it a very light washing with soap and water. And uh, yeah, I actually fortunately do have a little bit of water in the camper right now since I filled up some water to test out the new faucet the other day. Cause it has been winterized for a long, whoa, why is the, oh, the water is hot right now. Interesting, the, the hot water heater has been on, but hey, I'm not opposed to it. That's kind of nice right now. <laughs> All right, well, my backup plan is just gonna be a simple bagel sandwich with turkey, cheese, spinach, bagel, obviously. Turkey sandwich, can't beat it. Oh, yes, I have missed this. Well, I think that's my cue. Catch y'all in the morning. I don't know what it is, but every time that I sleep in this camper, I just get the world's best sleep. I just knock out almost immediately, and I don't wake up at all during the night, and I have deep dreams, and I just wake up feeling so rested, and I always wake up a little bit later than I do at home. I contribute a lot of it to my mattress being so comfortable, especially with the new frolly sleep system that you guys might have seen me install makes the bed incredibly comfortable like sleeping on a cloud but also there's just something so i don't know so comforting about being in a camper in the middle of the wilderness there's just something that just like cradles you and i don't know what it is but it gives you a nice deep sleep every time Now before we end this video, there is just one more spot that I wanna quickly swing by on my way home. Stay tuned, I'll show you in just a second here.
Oregon truly has some of the best waterfalls in the world, in my opinion. I mean, it's hard to beat this. Fun fact, I actually did a, a backpacking trail. I think it was, I can't remember if it was last year or the year before, but the trail actually goes up behind the waterfall. So you get a really cool view from, of the waterfall from a top down view. There's a lot of like really awesome waterfalls along this river here. Um, it's just a spectacular area. And I always like to swing by whenever I'm in the area. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm just gonna end it here. Thank you, like always, for watching. Uh, catch you in the next one. Peace.